bitches all these on that option. Get the mask on my face like a catch. Don't call my phone unless you're trying to cop. I pull up and sir, you will. Will Will Greer end the Panthers losing streak? Yo! Welcome back to the TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the show with things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and Rumble.com and wherever else. And guys, we got a lot to talk about, man. The Carolina Panthers are making a quarterback change. Definitely got to talk about that. The Carolina Panthers are also took an L on Sunday. Got to talk about that. And what does this mean for the future of the Carolina Panthers? So we got a lot to talk about today, guys. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the abysmal showing the Carolina Panthers had last week against the Seahawks. Or Sunday against the Seahawks, technically. But the reason why this showing was abysmal, because we was in the game. I'm not going to lie. We was kind of close. But um, because Kyle Allen was so trash, we lost the game. Now, mind you, I'm happy we lost. I think we should be tanking. I mean, there's nothing to gain from us playing good this late because there's no playoff chance for us. But, you know what I'm saying, um, Kyle just showed how horrible he is. I mean, he threw, I think, two or three picks in that game. Um, no, I think he threw two picks. I think he fumbled once. Um, and they talked about it. Kyle Allen, in 12 starts, has 22 turnovers. And that's more turnovers than Cam Newton had in any point in his career for a season in 16 games. So Kyle Allen has played four less games than Cam Newton and has more turnovers than Cam Newton had in any season of his. But people were saying they should replace Cam Newton for Kyle Allen. I want people to remember this because I, I was constantly saying, I was vehemently saying, Kyle Allen is a backup. Kyle Allen is a backup. Kyle Allen is a backup. Don't overreact to what you're seeing. He's winning bad teams. He's a backup. And people were like, oh, we might be bumming into the next Tom Brady. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. And I said, very from the beginning, I said, when you hear hooves, think horses, not zebras. And people didn't listen. And now, they thought he was a zebra. He's actually a horse. See what I'm saying? Actually, a very bad horse. You know what I'm saying? He's a pony, more like, you know what I'm saying? Because he's horrible. But, um, you know what I'm saying? He sucked it up. The defense actually played pretty, you know, well, it was up and down. But, you know, towards the end, they started getting it together. Trey Boston got his uh, interception and got $150,000 um, incentive. You know what I'm saying? So, the defense was playing really good. Dante Jackson got burnt twice, which was crazy. Um, Dante Jackson has, it looked like he kind of regressed as a cornerback. Um, but, you know, he's a smaller cornerback. It's to be expected. He was going against uh, DK Metcalf, who was like 6'3", 6'4", and Josh Gordon, who was like 6'3", 6'4". Those are bad matchups for uh, Dante. He can't jam him at the line. He, he's going to lose all the jump battles. I mean, the only thing he do is keep up with him, and it wasn't even looking like he was doing that. So, there's that, right? But back to the overall Kyle and being horrible. Christian McCaffrey played well, you know what I'm saying? But Kyle Allen was up and down the whole game, turning the ball over. Yeah, you know, DJ Moore looked amazing, stuff like that, but... Kyle just wasn't the answer. He's been not. The, he's never been the answer from the very beginning. And I've been saying this, and now the Panthers are thinking the same thing. And the second thing I want to talk about is that the Carolina Panthers finally wised up and made a quarterback change. Will Greer has been named the starting quarterback for next week or whatever, right? Now, mind you, we only got two weeks left, you know what I'm saying, football season, so it's not that big of a deal. But it is interesting that they finally was like, we've seen enough Kyle Allen pull him. So I think Kyle Allen's probably going to be cutting the offseason or something like that because to be honest with you, they've seen how horrible he is, personally. Or I don't think anybody will trade for him. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But Will Greer, the third-round draft pick of theirs, you know what I'm saying, they finally let him play. And, um, you know what I'm saying, it's, I'm happy for it. Kyle Allen was playing like trash. Kyle Allen is trash. I've been saying he was trash from the very beginning. People didn't listen to me. Now they're going to Will Greer. Now, mind you, Will Greer in the preseason did not look great. I'm not going to lie to you. Did not look great at all. You know what I'm saying? He threw, he threw picks, bad ones too. But, you know, you think over time he's learning, he's getting better. You know what I'm saying? He's watching the game and stuff like that, whatever. And, you know, I mean, I don't think the game is slowed out for him that much, but I think he's going to do pretty well. Um, so, like I said, I'm happy about it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's to be expected. Kyle Allen has been playing trash. And um, it doesn't look, the Carolina Kyle Allen thing looks like it's not panning out. But, you know, maybe, you know, Will Greer could be, you know, the new backup, which I was thinking he was going to be from the very beginning. But it was kind of disheartening that he couldn't beat out Kyle Allen and Taylor, Taylor Heineke. So, you know, so we'll see what he has. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, like I said, I'm happy that they finally did it because Will Greer should have been started when Kyle Allen was sucking it up. But, you know, I mean, I guess the interim head coach is like, man, we might not get head coaching jobs anyways. So we might well try him out, see what he has, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe we can have him as a bargaining chip. That's how they probably feel. So we'll see how that whole thing plays out. But um, I'm happy for Will Greer, you know what I'm saying, he's the Carolina kid, you know what I'm saying, um, he's from Carolina, 
And, um, you know what I'm saying? We'll, ho hopefully, it'll be a good hometown story. You know what I'm saying? He's finally getting the start. We'll see what happens, man. And finally, I'm going to let you guys know how the future looks for the Carolina Panthers. Now, one, I'm going to predict a few things and see if I'm right. But um, what's going to happen is Will Greer is going to win maybe one or two of the last two games, right? And um, then everybody's going to say, oh, Will Greer is looking like a baller. The Panthers should go Will Greer and let Cam walk. That's what's going to happen, right? Because now the Kyle Allen narrative is thrown in the trash. They cannot use that narrative anymore. But they still want Cam Newton gone from Carolina because they want him in a bigger market. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see everybody pushing him to the Chargers or the Steelers or the Patriots or, you know, all these other teams, right? They want Cam Newton in a bigger market. That's what they want, right? So let's, you know, the Bears. Let's not even get to that, right? So they're going to say Kyle, Will Greer is going to probably look good. He's going to probably win one or two games. And everybody's going to be like, oh, man, Will Greer is the answer. The Panthers, the Panthers got a steal with Will Greer. You know what I'm saying? They should let Cam walk. That's what the narrative is going to be, right? So um, that's going to be the narrative. Cam's dealing with, you know, he just got surgery or whatever. He was at the game uh, Sunday watching his team get roasted. And um, what's going to happen is, you know, through the offseason, oh, the Cam Panthers still have a quarterback dilemma. It's not over yet. You know what I'm saying? Cam Newton or Will Greer. Cam Newton or Will Greer. Now, mind you, I think Will Greer's a backup. I think he should be our backup. I think he's a young backup, and until we have to pay him, he should stay our backup. You know what I'm saying? But let's not even get to that, right? So that's going to happen, and um, if David Tipper's smart, he's going to see this coming, and he's not going to budge. He's going to kick Cam for his, one, his final year. He's going to try to build a team around Cam, and if Cam plays well and is healthy and does Cam-like things, then you should extend Cam Newton. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Will Greer is a good player, but I don't think he's going to be, you know, a game changer. You know what I'm saying? I might, I might be wrong. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? It's a possibility. But I am willing to go with the proven commodity, which is Cam Newton, because we've seen what he can do. Then Will Greer was an unproven commodity. One. Two. Was drafted in the third round. Three. You know what I'm saying? He's not really translated that way. Like, he hasn't been balling out in preseason and training camp. Like, when Russell Wilson took over... For, you know, I think I forgot it was, um, I think it was Tim Hasselbeck, who was the uh, quarterback for the Seahawks when Russell Wilson got there. Russell Wilson was out playing him in practice and all types of stuff. And then when they moved up, went on with Russell, they stuck with Russell because they seen how good of a player he could be. Will Greer was the opposite of that. Will Greer did not play good in training camp. He did not play good, you know what I'm saying, in preseason. He, he threw a lot of interceptions. That's just what it is. So we'll see, you know what I'm saying, obviously. But I think the Panthers should keep Cam Newton and they should build around him. And I think they should, you know, do some moves, which I'll talk about in another video. But I think they should build around Cam. I think Cam is going to be healthy. I think he's going to have one year left, year left on his contract. And if he's not healthy and he doesn't and he doesn't perform that one year, hey, go in the draft and he still build the offense and then go in the draft next year. You know what I'm saying? And get a quarterback. Who knows? But I think Cam will be healthy. And I think that's what the future holds for the Carolina Panthers. The, the immediate future for anything. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the show with things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and Roman.com and Twitter and wherever else. And, guys, get in the comment section, man. Who you think uh, the Panthers should go forward with? Cam Newton and Will Greer? Put that in the comment section below. Check out the special account, the Patreon page, and the NFL affiliate link. All those links are in the description. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for showing love. Check out my daughter, Ron Steam channel. Very funny dude, very talented. Definitely like his content. And we have a podcast together. Definitely check that out. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Also, share this with our Panther fans. Shit, sure, all the Panther fans, even my Panther related, my football related, y'all already know what it is. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.